had five wrestlers make it to the quarterfinal round, yep. and three of them win their weight class. How much of that is a testament to how deep the roster goes for this team? It's good. Yeah, we're starting to develop some depth. Obviously, wrestling yesterday and wrestling a lot of guys, and coming back today and wrestling, you know, half our lineup. It was good to get three guys to win it when the other half wasn't competing today. Boykin had a really tough defensive matchup for his last match. Paul had a really tough defensive matchup for his semifinal match. What was key for you to making sure that they stayed level-headed going in during those matchups when it was going to close? Uh, you know, it's important right now. These guys find rhythm. It's early in the season, so they got to continue to develop and be comfortable with their style of wrestling. And that's what you see right now in November, just guys working on certain things just to fine-tune. And ultimately, that's what those two guys are doing. You know, their weight management is part of it, and then the other parts, the technical side of things that they're, they're all working on. Now you all got about a week off before you travel to Boone to take on App State. Yep. And then two days after that, you all go to Stillwater to take yeah. on one of the best programs. What sort of preparation are you going to plan for the team to get them um, ready for those matchups? And physically, not? we've been preparing for it for a while. So, you know, that's just part of the season. Mentally, I think it's going to be more of a mental preparation for this. Um, we can't overlook App State. There's some key matchups for individuals. But team-wise, I think we're more focused in on Oklahoma State. So that's... You know, historically, we're one of the best programs in the country, so we got to be ready mentally and physically to go out there and compete in a pretty hostile environment and have some fun while we're at it because they get a good fan base. All right.